Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video is brought to you by newqbo.com. Newqbo.com. So in this tutorial video, I'm going to focus on copy and estimate to a purchase order. Copy and estimate to a purchase order. I used to be just copy and estimate uh, to an invoice. Now they've added to a purchase order uh, in June release. Uh, you know, these updates are rolled out in waves. Uh, so not all QBO users get them at the same time. So if you don't see it, that means it's coming soon. And for this feature, you need a QuickBooks Online Plus plan, plus subscription. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing you need to do is you need to go to company settings and uh, uh, let's see here, expenses. So this has to be on. So if it's off, it has to be on. So just click that one and then select, like if you just see it off, just click it. Copy estimates to purchase or save it. It's on now. Done, okay. And now uh, you're ready to go. Okay, so go to estimate. So I'm going to select a customer. I say two uh, triple A, and I'm going to sell product. Uh, so I'm going to bid on this estimate. So let's say uh, uh, paint process. Okay. I say uh, 100 100 okay two dollars a piece and it's product sales the class I see I'm gonna charge sales tax okay so uh, and you know uh, at this point uh, uh, you can just save and close save and close or if you already received this uh, you want to ready to uh, purchase place an order then you can just save it okay uh, so uh, I'm gonna just uh, let's just, I'm gonna s just save this and see what happens okay copy the purchase orders right here right okay okay so I'm not gonna use them right now let's say it's still pending okay I'm gonna close this Okay, I'm going to go to customers and go to estimates. I have a few estimates hanging in there. Okay, so this is the one I, I'm going to select to open estimates. Okay, let's say this is the one uh, I got it. This one. Okay, so I can just copy to purchase order uh, from your uh, customer center. So I'm going to copy the purchase order, and uh, it'll be under item details. In this case, uh, inventory type. Okay. So and uh, I'm just going to select a vendor, and I'm going to select customer for this job, like this, and uh, ready to go. Save and close. Okay, so uh, the estimate is still pending, but you already placed an order. Uh, so, uh, so when you when you receive the product and uh, ready to go, then you just uh, click this and start uh, invoice as usual. Nothing big. Okay, so now I'm going to open a uh, uh, new product item. Let's say new item. I'm going to choose non inventory. Uh, let's say uh, non inventory. I'm just going to name something. Uh, let's say Apple uh, Pad. Okay. So this is non inventory, let's say, okay. Uh, and let's say uh, I'm going to put a price in here. So one hundred dollars, and uh, uh, 
Okay, so if you're gonna sell this, you must select this one. If you don't select this one, see what happens here. So then you have cost in here. Let's say you just you ignore this. You just put the price in here and save and close. Okay, Apple Pad. Okay, now I'm gonna create uh, estimate. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. Okay, so now I'm gonna copy to purchase order. As you can see here, they give, they give an error, or not error, but uh, uh, you know the warning sign in here. We just wanted to let you know that some items may not carry over to the purchase order. If you want to include them, uh, edit them and tell QuickBooks that you purchased them from a purchase order. Okay, remember, uh, I purchased a mark. Uh, it wasn't checked. Okay, so if you do it now, what happens is it won't copy anything in here. There's nothing in here. It's blank there, okay? So, uh, in order to copy over, you need to make sure, uh, you know, you select that box. Okay, edit, and now uh, you need to select this one. Okay, and if you have cost, that's fine. Let's say it's 50 bucks. Save and close. Okay, so now I can uh, uh, go to that estimate again. This one estimate. Check the estimate. Latest one right here. Okay. So now copy to purchase order. It's right here now. Okay. So uh, uh, make sure you select that box, and then uh, it'll work. Okay, uh, that should do it for now. Uh, it's pretty okay. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, visit our website newcubio.com. Uh, thank you. Bye.